Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another video for you guys. I'm not even going to cap. I'm trying to keep my energy up for this video solely because I already shot this video twice. I pulled the car out and went on a drive and shot the video for you guys. Something different, a little POV type vlog while I explain to you guys what was going to be happening with Vader. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I finally made my mind up on basically what step I'm gonna take next with this build. And for some odd reason, the video will not send to my computer. It won't airdrop, I guess the file is too big, I don't know, but I've been trying to send the file all day, that's why this video is coming at you guys late. Also, I literally washed my car yesterday, cleaned the heck out of Vader, bro, and mind you, I checked the weather to make sure that it was not going to rain, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, J.I. Productions underscore, and you guys would have already seen the reel, but it literally said that it was not going to rain until next Thursday, y'all. Next Thursday. And what happens today? For an hour? <laughs> it rains. Literally. All over my car for a solid hour. And then the sun came out and dried up all the rain. Now I got mad water spots all over my car. And as you guys know, been struggling with HP tuners. Me and the guys over at NRG been trying to get that situated so we can get the new tune flashed on the car. My boy Christian already sent me the tune. I have the tune file. I literally just need to get this credit situation done with HP tuners so that I can flash the tune onto the car. I've been trying to get to the track for you guys. Um, today is currently Wednesday and the track is open on Friday night. So I'm literally trying to get this file put on the car so I can go to the track and get you guys some numbers. It's been a long time since we've been there, but <sighs> HP tuners is being HP tuners and that's all I'm gonna say about that. So let's just get straight into today's video. All right, you guys, as y'all see, we got Vader right here in the JIHQ. It does not look dirty on camera, but trust me, it is filthy. Anyway, getting straight into the topic of this video, it's actually gonna be underneath the hood, so let me go ahead and pop that for y'all. All right, you guys, so if you're new to the channel, basically this is my 2021 Camaro SS1 LE. It is a 10-speed automatic. The setup is as follows. The LT2 intake manifold non-ported stock throttle body, Rotofab cold air intake, flex fuel sensor from Wild Hammer Motorsports. It is a E85 car, 100% E85, not no like E30 mix or none of, the, of that extra stuff. That's too complicated to deal with. Full E85 or full 93, whatever you have in your area, that's, you know what I'm saying, what I'm running. Anyway, um... Speed engineering, long tube headers, inch and seven eighth, catless, all the way back to the stock MPP. Pretty much that's all that's actually done to my motor. It's a simple bolt-on car, but as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail today, we are talking about the next step for this build. Am I going Pro Charger or am I going Cam? Everybody wants to know. We've been talking, I've been hinting at it on the channel. I've been leaving you guys with cliffhangers because me personally, I didn't even know what route I wanted to go with first, but I finally have made my mind up. So, with that being said, in the upcoming month or two before summer, I am going to be camming my car. Now, Yes, everybody who has been wanting me to drop a cam on one of my builds, this is the time for you guys to scream and rejoice and be super, super stoked, just as I am. I'm going to be going with the BTR Stage 2 cam. 
that is the biggest cam that you can run on a stock style converter um i kind of don't want to get into you know the converter and all of that stuff yet i'm gonna be leaving the heads i might port the heads i don't know just solely because this is my daily driver and the downtime is kind of what i'm fighting against um so that being said we are going to be throwing the btr stage 2 cam on the car um, you know upgraded everything that you know you need to upgrade with the cam kit while the car is down I'm thinking about having the LT2 intake manifold ported and I'm also going to be getting the C7 ZR1 throttle body and I'll get that ported as well um, so then we kind of get a little bit more horsepower out of the intake manifold side of things and kind of get this LT2 to go ahead and shine for real for real now for those of you guys who wanted me to go pro charger or for those of you guys who were confused as to why i was torn between pro charger or cam it is simply with the pro charger i know how much these cars make with that kit and it is insane compared to the cam with the cam stage 2 cam i'm looking at maybe 550 560 wheel with the pro charger i was looking at like 600 to 650 wheel but at the end of the day i decided that i'm gonna go with the cam first solely because i need that chop you know what i'm saying i need that chop now, for those of you guys who are wondering why i'm going stage two and i'm not going stage three or four this is this is it okay i'm gonna keep it a buck since i'm going to be boosting the car you need to have a boost ready cam a boost capable cam also when you go above stage two you need to replace the stall converter like i mentioned earlier i don't want to get into that right now i just had my baby girl if you guys are new to the channel and don't know i just had my first child me and my wife and i can't be spending too much coin on the car right now solely because my baby girl is here i got things that i'm working with outside of youtube that i'm trying to do as far as for me myself and my family um you know we are in apartments right now and honestly i'm trying to buy a house so that being said i can't really be moving too much coin solely towards the car if i didn't have any responsibilities if i stayed with my parents or whatnot didn't have to pay bills then yeah hell yeah i could just dump all that money in the car and go heads cam package with the stock converter from circle d but <laughs> i do have responsibilities i do have things that i need to pay and i do have things that i'm trying to get done outside of youtube like i said so with that being said, man, the BTR Stage 2 cam is the perfect blend between a NA and a Boost capable cam. It also sounds crazy. The chop is nasty on that cam for it to be a Stage 2. Honestly, I've heard multiple cars that sound like they have like a Stage 3 or 4 and it's just a Stage 2 BTR. So with that being said, man, we are going to be camming this car. I know you guys are excited. Probably just as excited as I am out of all the builds that I've done on this channel I've always wanted to have one of them chop and I've never was able to do so because solely either a you know the car was taken from me uh, via accident or B I built the car got bored of it and sold it and you guys that have been a part of the JI squad know I really get bored of cars quick and I end up selling them and then getting new ones but I will let you guys know this Vader is here to stay this car right here is not going anywhere okay this is the beginning of the collection I am actually looking at getting a daily right now just because of the simple fact that I'm about to cam it. I also need to have another car just in case since I'm opening up this motor. You never know what's going to happen. Knock on hood. Nothing happens, but you never know, man. I mean, once you open up the motor, there's so many things that could go wrong. There's so many things that can go right. So with that being said, it would be better for me to have a backup car just in case the car needs to be in the shop for a longer amount of time than we expected. With that being said, I love everything about this Camaro. It is literally the Camaro that I had envisioned in my head. Out of all three of the Camaros that I've owned, this car literally answers all of the things that I wanted out of those the other two Camaros 
it's all here from the looks from factory the sound from factory the interior the way the car drives the suspension the handling the cooling components everything man the 1le is legitimately a driver's car the 2020 and up camaros look phenomenal from factory i mean dude them headlights like bro i don't even need to do the rgbw headlights because look at that like these headlights are insane bro let me let me get you guys a look like bro them joints are so menacing it's insane no cap yes vader is getting camped now who knows maybe you know by the grace of god things take a slighter turn a better turn more financial income starts to show up you guys start to subscribe and and share the you know what i'm saying the news of the channel and all of the social media platforms and you know we get these bigger checks coming in and whatnot then yeah i'll go ahead and throw the pro charger on the car before the end of the year who knows we never know what's going to happen in a year we really don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow so with that being said man we are going cam finally we are finally going cam on this car. If you guys are excited to hear Vader chop, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. As y'all can see, I'm sweating. It's hot in the JIHQ right now. And like I said, I've recorded this video for the third or fourth time now. So with all that being said, man, that's actually going to wrap it up for this one. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for the kid. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know, are you guys happy that I'm going cam? Or do you wish that I was going Pro Charger first? I'm kind of interested to see where you guys are as far as the cam or the Pro Charger. And then also, leave this video a big thumbs up if you're excited to hear this joint chop for real. But with all that being said, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.